All right, this is the first interview. I'm here with Beto Diaz. <laughs> and I'm here to ask him what are his hopes and dreams and aspirations. What do you, by being here in Tamiu, what, what can you say that you have planned for the future? Um, I hope to graduate with a bachelor's degree. Hopefully, either in business or I'm not entirely sure right now if that's what I'm going to go into. But uh, for sure, for sure, I want to own my own business. Interesting. And I kind of want to start my own swimming like business, mm -hmm. or like uh, people could train, people could like swim there like, nice. for like, or like do like exercise stuff like that, and sell some swimming stuff because well here in Rio it's hardly it's nothing, yeah. <laughs> and, there, and there's actually like some swimmers uh, swimming organizations are actually pretty big, or kind of they could really use something like this, or maybe move somewhere bigger. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So if you do um, achieve your dream with the swimming or, uh, organization or business in the future, would you keep it here in Laredo or would you try to expand to several parts or keep it mainly like in a big town like Austin or San Antonio? Mm -hmm. It depends how well it is. It, I don't know if I would stay here in Laredo for sure mm -hmm. since, um, well, because first of all, Laredo is kind of small and not a lot of people are into swimming. Yeah. I so I might go somewhere else where like, like, probably Austin or San Antonio since they're probably better. Also, like, if they do, if I do well, then I could, like, work with UT, be like, oh, you want these swimmers? Here you go. You just, you know, gotta give me some business. Yeah, I agree. All right, well, I wish you the best, and I hope you achieve your goals and aspirations. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, this is the interview, too. I'm here with Angel Guzman. What's up? You're asking him as well the same uh, topic. What is, what are his Hopes and dreams and aspirations. Would you like care to share? Yeah, my hopes is to graduate with a bachelor's in history and become a world history teacher in middle school or in high school. And I don't know if I'm going to stay here in Laredo or not. Uh, depends if I'm going to stay here. Probably move to San Antonio or possibly Austin in that area. But yeah, those are my hopes and dreams right now. And probably later on, uh, go up to my master's in history and have my and probably become a professor in history as well. And I don't know. All right, so building up your dream, starting yes. from a certain point. All right, that's very nice. Uh, when did you first have this, this dream or this uh, aspiration to become a teacher? Um, back in high school, I actually didn't know what I was going to do. First, I was going into firefighter and a police officer, but then like, I really started getting into a lot of history and a lot of World War II, uh, especially. Um, yeah, so one of my teachers told me you have like a really good uh, PowerPoints in history, so why don't you become a world history teacher? I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of good. So I actually started looking up into history teachers and hey, like, I don't know. So it was a really good thing that my teacher recommended that for me. So I've been studying my butt off lately and just studying everything that has to do with history. Right now I'm just skimming through. Uh, I just finished up uh, history on World War II and... Uh, uh, going into uh, Vietnam and the Cold War, especially right now. Well, thank you. That was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, and I hope everything goes for the best. Thank you. Here, I'll hold it. Okay, uh, this is interview number three. I'm here with Mirna, and um, I'm here to talk to her about what are her <laughs> hopes, dreams, and aspirations. If you'd like to share. Shoot some questions. Oh, no, just, um, okay. What are your hopes and dreams towards the future, and where are you now? So, I will be producing uh, prosthetic arms and legs with the military, and I've already done a couple internships with Dallas, and I've got accepted to a uh, prosthetic school in San Antonio. Interesting. Um, when did you realize that this was what you wanted to do, or why? Um, when I was in middle school, I saw an officer there uh, get in an accident, and he was very passionate about his job. And after that, he was stuck into a desk job where I saw depression hit him hard, and I really felt like I needed to change that. And I felt like it was something that wasn't addressed as much as it should be. And I just, in fact, in middle school, I started building a model that was I was able to finish my senior year of high school. You look like you're tan. Did you go on a vacation? Interesting. Oh, that is a very motivational story, and I thank you for your time. Okay, this is the 
<clears throat> an interview on myself about my hopes and dreams and aspirations compared to the interviews I've done today. Okay, um, my my dreams or rather my goal is to graduate, of course. Just I'm getting my basics out of the way. I'm not 100% sure, but what I'd like to do so far is that I know I want a business of my own. Whether it be uh, a dental clinic, because I'd like to be pretend pre-dental in order to become a dentist in the future, an orthodontist to be more specific. And I'd like to stay in Laredo, but hopefully I could expand to a larger city because I have family in some cities around Laredo as well. And as far as my aspirations, I just know to continue working hard. TAMU is a land of opportunity, so I'll see what it has in store with, for myself. And as long as I'll stay active and academically um, just 100% into my work, then I, I'm sure that something will come my way.